What's going on YouTube? Mr. Bricks here and today we have a uh, in-depth look at the Clonery Customs that I bought from BrickCon 2018. So as you know BrickCon was a couple weeks ago. I filmed my haul video. I filmed my vlog. Those are both up on my channel so go check them out if you haven't seen them already but there was a Clonery Customs booth there and I decided to buy a few things. Um, I also did this last year so uh, it's also my most popular video on my channel so if you want to go check that out as well um, but yeah so the things I bought at BritCon was a phase 2 commander Cody my first like big purchase from them uh, pretty nice figure good quality we'll go look into him later in the video I also bought a Mandalorian helmet and a 501st helmet that you can put on your 501st trooper to make them look even better. And I also got two standard clone blasters. And the last thing I got was a weapon grab bag for $2. So we will go through all of these in the video and we'll start off with the weapon grab bag. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, I have a new backdrop. Uh, it's just a bunch of boxes, but yeah, I think this is a pretty cool backdrop. And uh, I forgot to mention that. Well, let's do the weapon grab bag. Here is the weapon grab bag. Um, so, it is weapon grab bag number four. It says, might be good, might be even better. Bag is valued at $8. Um, so, yeah. In here is just basically a bunch of random weapons that could be good or could be not. And, uh, yeah. It could be any color. So, let's crack into it. Here we go. Um, I have not looked inside here. Let's dump them out. Alright, so... First thing up, I think we have a standard, standard E11 uh, Stormtrooper Blaster. Um, that's nice. Uh, it's actually usable. It's not in a random color. Um, next, we have a Mando pink Mandalorian um, Blaster. Uh, I already have two of these. I think I have, I have two or one of the one of them normal, normal color. Uh, we have a gold drum. Uh, Gold drum gun, I think. Um, I don't. I don't remember what this is called. The, the assault. The aerial assault person in Battlefront Two for the Empire uses this. It does have a removable barrel, so that's good. Uh, it's in gold, so not really usable. But silver make... flame, flame thrower, I guess. Um, pretty nice. Uh, an aqua like underwater gun. I think this is what scuba troopers use. Standard droid blaster, and I think this is a. Uh, not sure what gun this is. Kind of familiar. And here's a normal uh, clone uh, small pistol. So yeah, there is the weapon grab bag. Now let's move on to the. Here Commander is Cody. the Phase Two Commander Cody. Um, First off, this guy was $25. Uh, we'll do a quick 360 look. Get the light in there. Uh, good back printing. No back of the leg or side leg printing, but we do have arm printing. Um, the blaster I did get for him was the standard clone rifle. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. There is his torso printing and markings and leg printing. Um, looking at the helmet, it, it has a removable custom. He does look pretty weird. The helmet does look pretty interesting without the visor on, so I would there definitely. There is no that. face printing. There is no uh, printed face underneath, which I'm um, kind of. That kind of sucks. I paid $25 and didn't get a printed face, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, here's just another 360 look at him. Uh, pretty nice figure. Um, I did also, I did get a standard E11 blaster alongside with him and the business card. So yeah, there is the Clonery Customs Phase 2 Commander Code. The last couple items I got were um, a 501st helmet and a special like Mandalorian with spikes helmet. Uh, and two standard clone blasters. But first here's a look at the Mandalorian helmet. Um, it's a, it's a black with like dark blue highlights and white visor. It's got nice Darth Maul spikes for when he takes over Mandalore. And yeah, um, that's a pretty nice. Uh, I don't remember how much it was, like two bucks or something. 
I think. Um, here's the 501st Trooper. Decided to pick this up because uh, I wondered how it would look on a normal 501st Trooper. Made it see if it improved the quality in any way. Um, yeah, and I also got two standard clone blasters. So that is basically all that I got at BrickCon 2018 for Clone Army Customs. Um, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and go watch my other videos, and watch my BrickCon vlog and haul, and you can see all that I got, and yeah, peace out.